Well, one week ago, shops on Main Street in Beattyville closed up for the day as everyone went home. Nobody imagined what the next 24 hours would bring as historic levels of flooding destroyed most of downtown. LEX 18's Conroy Deluche returned to Lee County where the cleanup continues and the rebuild lies ahead. The first round of damage assessment is wrapping up in Lee County and the totals are staggering. Our count right now is 81 businesses and 64 homes. The homes are scattered throughout the county, but most of those businesses. This is our downtown area. Are along Main Street and Beattyville. To see Main Street in the condition it is now versus how it was prior to the flood is, is almost heartbreaking. Misty Mayfield could barely hold back tears when she described the state of her sister's business, Extreme Hair Design. It was really hard the first day, just seeing all of her belongings and everything she worked for out in the driveway. Across the street. At one o'clock in the morning, it was in the street. And at three o'clock, it was on Pikesville. Mayor Scott Jackson showed us the state of City Hall. The building is closed, but the offices have been moved to an extension office as they continue to work for the people of Beattyville. A few miles from downtown, we visited the damaged home of Tim Brandenburg, whose story we shared last week when fellow National Guard members were looking for ways to help. Well, thanks to a retired firefighter out of Paris, Jeff McFarland, who donated a trailer, the Brandenburgs now have somewhere to sleep. We just want to make sure that uh, even though we're a few counties away from Beattyville, uh, that they're still our neighbors and, and it is our job to help our neighbors. Help has poured in from across the country and county officials are coordinating the response to reach everyone who needs assistance. In the, the short term need is being met. However, these folks are going to have to rebuild. So drywall, uh, plywood, two by fours, insulation. John Allen says the kindness of Kentucky has been overwhelming as this is not a month long rebuild. But he added that Lee County is built on toughness and resilience and the fight to survive. In Lee County, Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News.